Sound check. All right, everything's looking good. Let's start this show. Hello, everybody. Scorpion's on. Uh, guess what, Scorp? Thank you, sir. We're back on Oklahoma. <laughs> Remember Oklahoma? Uh, I played Oklahoma in 2015, and I had a lot of fun with it. I played the snot out of it. Uh, so I found this on, what was it? American Eagle Modding is where I found this mod. And he's converted it over to 2017. Also, I will put a link in the description when I'm done of my original... 2015 showcase of this map so you can compare it but uh, anyway interestingly enough um it it looks a little different but <laughs> that's okay so let's start off with this fill in the boxes in the house hey phil how you doing oklahoma that's right uh, oklahoma this map comes with absolutely nothing uh i bought that pickup so i'd have something to teleport into and I leased this helicopter so we can take a look at the map other than that you get three and a half million dollars to start no equipment and no land you don't own any land so I didn't want to start that way so what I did was I purchased some property and what I purchased was field one two three four and five after that, I only had about a million dollars left of that original three million five hundred thousand. So I put my three hundred or three and a half million dollars back in because I have no equipment. But there you go. Hey, Alan, how goes it? So anyway, that's how you start. That's not how I started, but that's how you're going to start with absolutely no land and absolutely no equipment and three and a half million dollars. So there you go. Now, I think the first thing to do before I start any farming is to just... I'm going to do a flyover of the map to show you what it looks like. Um, I haven't done any modding except for one thing. And I'll show you that in a minute when we get to the animal farm. Basically, there's farms all over this map. If you, if you look at the map, you're going to see there's uh, farm one clear down in the bottom of the map and towards the west you'll see farm one there's a farm three to the east there's farm two someplace on here uh, there's Mary's farm there's uh, the Gonzales farm so there's lots of farms on here he does have some production and he put a spot in for placeables if you want it ginger said he just woke up from a map you mean a lap yeah, I love the money only. I know. I hate having to sell a bunch of equipment and lose money. Because remember, when you sell equipment, you lose half of what it's worth. I hate having to do that. I love it so much when a mod author doesn't try to push their equipment on you and just gives you the money instead. So, there you go. Now, this mod author did it right from the get-go. First of all, look at the size of this barn. If I can get it open. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. I can't open a barn. Uh-oh. Maybe I didn't put something in. Well, no. That worked. All right. We'll figure out that one in a little while. This, um... Well, this one opens. So we can get in. I don't know if that's supposed to open or not. No, it does. I just wasn't in the right position. But look at the size of this barn. It gives you something big enough to bring a thing in and... And do a little work on it. That's kind of cool. So that's that's interesting. What map is this? This is uh, Oklahoma, Ginger. Uh, I used to play this in 2015, so I thought I'd give it a try. Now this is the main farm here, 
and you don't see much on it. There's a shed or two. This this is another pretty good size shed. I love the big sheds. So you can actually get in them and put something in them. You have a seed maker here if you want it, a seed master. Haven't got your Gregory Pecks on? Well, you better put them on. You might not be able to get around. This is your storage here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up since I'm going to have to open it up sooner or later anyway. Uh, he's got this thing modded to hold almost everything you can grow. Uh, I didn't actually go through the list when I went into a giant editor. But it holds almost everything and it holds over 3 million. I think it holds about 3,300,000 3, of whatever you want to put in it. That's always good. Always good to have enough storage. So other than that, that's the only thing on the main farm is is uh, staging area, place to put your equipment, uh, your storage, and then your animals are on a different farm. Let's run over there. Tell you what, I'm going to grab the helicopter. And we'll do that. Also, before I leave the main farm, where the horses are right here, that's all mowable. That's a mowable grass field. Uh, there's another one that doesn't have a fence around it over here. So you got lots of this one here you could mow if you wanted to. But that gives you another staging area right here for equipment if you want to drop it off. But over here there's another uh, a hay field right here that you can mow over here. This thing here. And there's your place where if you want to put some pace. Oh, God, I can't talk. This is a spot where you can put some placeables if you want to. Now, he does have some production on here, so there's not too much you're going to probably need. So, anyway, hi, Andy. Thanks for stopping by. I decided to do a special live stream today because I had to work all day yesterday. So, I didn't want to work today. So, I told the family I was going to do a live stream and they had to leave me alone. So, there's plenty of grass readily available. You don't have to buy a field. You can start with that. Let's run over to the animal farm. I'm going to grab the helicopter first, though. And so I can get around. I didn't buy the helicopter. I just leased it. As far as mods go, I started by only putting essential mods in here. So as I start playing this, I'm going to have to maybe say, oh, shoot, I didn't put that mod in. And I really want it. So there's going to be a little bit of that, oh, shoot, stuff going on. Yeah, see, if you're Dagger Wind, you can get it before it comes out. I'm not Dagger Wind. So I have to wait like everybody else. Okay, here's the animal farm. This right here is the sheep pen, right here. And you got your cattle beyond that. And your pigs are in a special barn. There's your chickens right there. I don't think there's anything special about the chickens, but I don't know for sure. I think it's just regular chickens. And that's okay. I don't like free roaming chickens, so I'm glad he put a pen in. I don't like it when they do free roaming chickens. So, I'm going to have to check this out because what is this? Oh, shoot. We might have growing chickens here. Well, that'd be cool. I'm going to have to check that out. I didn't realize that. I don't see... Well, there's the water things right there. Well, we'll have to check that out. Yeah, <laughs> well, thanks, Scorpion. I appreciate that. It's good to be special. Um... Farmer Klein, I have no idea who that is. You guys know I don't watch other live streamers so or other farmers. So anyway, I did when I told you I did a little bit of modding, I didn't do much, but I'm lazy and I put these special troughs in here. So I need to get those going. I have to call a plumber. I did mod this in, so and I did one for the sheep and I did one for the cattle over here. I didn't do one for the pigs. 
because I don't know how the pig pen works. Let me show you. Here's the pig pen. Uh, where's the pig pen? Here it is. Here's the pig pen, and it looks to me... Hey, Alan, how are you? It looks to me like he's got it set up so that you put the, the pig feed right here and it automatically goes in because you cannot drive into the pig farm. This is for the poo-poo, uh, I'm pretty sure, the liquid poo. This is your water. So I did not put in the special water troughs, the automatic water troughs to the pigs because I think he's already got that figured out. You cannot, you cannot drive into the pig farm. This is where you buy your pigs right here, I think. You can walk in, but you can't drive in. So how in the hell are you going to get food and water in here? Well, it must be automated. That's my thinking. So um, this is where you buy your pigs. So what was that other thing? What is this? I don't know what this is. This isn't where you buy them. So this must be for the straw. Because since you can't get inside, you got to be able to give them straw. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you dump the water here because, listen, hear the water? I can hear water. So I'm thinking you, you pull in here with a tanker, you put your water in here, and it automatically puts it into the pig farm. And then you put your pig food in here, and these tubes send it in and put it in the trough. That's my thinking, and I'm sticking with that. Trauma Medic is in the house. How you doing, Trauma? Thanks for stopping by. We're looking at a new map today. It's called Oklahoma. It's not a new map. It was in 2015. It's a port over from the original mod author. So that's always good to know. Because there are sometimes somebody likes a map and it was not the original author. And they decide to port it over, but they don't know what they're doing. Uh, it's always good when the original author wants to port it over for you. So, uh, the other thing is, this is the sheep farm right here. I don't know where the pallets are unless it's right here. What is this? See, this isn't where you bought them. Bought, bought them. This isn't where you buy them, so I'm thinking this is where your wool pallets come. But, anyway, here's where you buy them. Here's where you buy your sheep. So, this is the animal farm. Let's run around, get in the helicopter. I'm doing good, Alan. Thanks for asking. Hope I didn't break the map. How would I break the map? <laughs> what? What? I I missed something. You never know. It, but what if if I break it, I can fix it, Jim. Trauma says he's, uh, he's good, got a day off, looks good, been playing on Southern Parish. It's a great, I haven't heard of that one either. I'll have to check that one out. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go up high here. And we're going to take a look at what some of the fields look like. So, as you can see, the fields are all pretty good size I did buy one two three four and five which are these fields you're looking at right here to the to the east to the right is field one come to west you get field two go south you get three four and again five and oh I have a farm wife I gotta show you. I gotta show you the farm wife I usually don't have a farm. They hide them in the farm, in the, in the farmhouse, and they won't let you in. They just throw a pie out one, at you once in a while. I'm going to land here in this field here. I'll show you that. Farm wife. Louisiana's Louisiana based. Yeah, check it out. I will. Louisiana. All right, not only do I have a farm wife, she's a pretty blonde, so if uh, if um, Ghost comes in, he'll, he'll be appreciative. Look at this. I have a swimming pool and a blonde wife. Now, I'm saying that's my wife. That could be the farm daughter. 
If that's the case, I'm in trouble. Enough said. <laughs> Scorpion called in sick today. Been in pain the last two days. Oh, that's not good. Jonathan's in the house. Jonathan Mortimer. How are you? Thanks for stopping by, my friend. So you called in sick. I was wondering, I saw you on Discord earlier, and I thought you were maybe on your phone or something. Right, so we're going to carry on here. As you can see, the fields look fairly big. The, the, the one, two, three, four, and five that I purchased have pretty much everything on them. One's got wheat, one's got barley, one's got soybeans, one's got uh, canola, I think, and the other one's got whatever else you get. Speaking of such, let's see what you get for fruit on the farm. You get your normal stuff, your wheat, your canola, soybeans, potatoes, your radishes, your grass, barley, sunflowers, corn, sugar beets, poplar, and oats is an extra one. Did I not see sugar cane? I don't think I did. Okay, so you have rye, you have milo, you have peanuts, clover, millet, cotton, and alfalfa. So we do not have sugar cane. So he brought this directly over and didn't put sugar cane in. That's fine with me. We can do beets. There is a potato factory on the farm. So if we're looking at that kind of thing. I'm doing good, Jonathan. Thanks for asking. Go to the doctor next week. Yeah, Scorpion, you and me both. I've got a I've been having a little bit more trouble with my angina than normal this year, and so I've got it scheduled to go in to see my cardiologist. But I can't get into almost December, so I hope I'll make it by then. Now, interestingly enough, in here it shows that there's sugar cane, but I've seen this before. You notice there's no sale points for it, so there isn't actually sugar cane on the map. Um, since 2017, and I do have uh, loaded, I do have the... Uh, the new expansion that came, that the sugar cane came with. That's why it's showing up in here. If I go and unclick that, the sugar cane will probably go away. <laughs> trauma. That's right, trauma. It's giving me a heart attack, too. Sugar, sugar, sugar cane is a pain, but that's okay. We'll make sugar out of beets. Now, while I'm in here, let's take a look at some other things we might have as far as your uh we've get uh, digistate at, which is good because uh, we do have a refinery on here uh the milk we've got uh, a seed maker a couple of them actually i'll show you that in a minute and here's all your extra stuff now we've got oats rye millet milo i don't know what milo is for sure oh it's sorghum okay milo is sorghum we have cotton which bleh, i don't care peanuts and there is a compost uh, factory here. We can make lime. So you can put lime in your coconut and it makes you feel better. Um, there's seeds. We have sugar. We have bread in loaves. We have butter. We've got cream. We've got ice cream. We've got biscuits we can make. So you can put that butter on your biscuits and... That'd be good. We do have beer. Interestingly enough, we don't have hops. So we're making the beer out of barley and wheat. And there's there's your vegetables there. We've got melons. We've got pumpkins. And it's coming out in pallets. Uh, tomatoes. We've got uh, board pallets we can make. We've got lettuce, cauliflower. There is a place that makes tables and barrels and cargo boxes and pallets and lions and tigers and bears oh my there is a flower you can make alfalfa and clover so there you go we'll take a look at all that in a minute uh joseph thank you for stopping by it is a 4x map it is and so yeah the 2015 one was a good size map 
I don't remember if it was 4X or not, to be completely candid with you. So, let's see here. Where are we? There's the hay sale right there if you want to sell your hay. And then I'm just going to go east here. And we'll run up the map, check things out. We'll start off over here at Tim's Tables, I guess. Well, remember I told you we could make tables if you want to do some logging. Interestingly enough, there's a couple of places to log. And this one looks like it's a commercial one. Because look how in line those trees are. So that should be an easy logging for you. Well, butter my biscuits. Put the lime in the coconut. I don't know if you remember that song or not. So this is Tim's Tables. You can uh, put stuff in there and put stuff in there and it comes out over here. And, and I think this must be for wood chips. There's a wood chipper there. How much wood can a wood chip chip? I don't know if a wood chip chips wood. Put my speed boots on. I had to have my speed boot mod. mod. I just can't stand it when this is what I have to do over the whole friggin' map. So I like to be able to run fast. Here's a little bit of a uh, lumber mill. This is just a normal lumber mill. There's a couple of places you can do lumber on this map. And we'll take a look at that here. It's coming up just around the corner here. Jump back in a helicopter. I'm doing a whirlwind tour because I actually want to start some farming here before I before I end the live stream. I wasn't sure whether I was just going to come in for an hour or do a regular two-hour one. I think I'll probably end up doing a two-hour one because I'm going to start farming and I won't want to stop. Unless something happens, my computer blows up. You never know. Now, what's the bulletin board over here? I didn't see that before. Oh, it's just a bulletin board. Where we go one, we go all. All right, so... Here's a little bit of something, something here. This is... Uh, I think this is a, uh, is this a garden center, probably, and right next to the garden center, I, mean, I don't know if that's a garden center or not, I think that's just like a hardware store or something, this is where you buy your equipment right here, and then of course you got your McDonald's, you've always got to have a McDonald's, there's an old Santa Fe saddle and boot factory, always got to have one of those, there's a Dollar General, there's a big co-op there if you want to have a cell point. That's right. Hey, Craig. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Keep the company. I thought I was going to be all alone today since I did a surprise stream. Uh, there's a Walmart, and it is the smallest Walmart I think I have ever seen. That must be a motel hotel there. But no, I have not seen a Walmart that small ever before. So this is what, uh, a little bit of an Oklahoma town here. So we've got a Applebee's, I think that is. Oh, uh, there's a Wells Fargo bar Bank or some kind of a bank there. Uh, we've got a little bit of living for the town folk. I don't see any zombies. I have no idea whether he put zombies in. I know I did turn the traffic off, though. Maybe I should turn that on and just take a look at the traffic. I always turn the traffic off. It's it's bothersome for me. I'll turn it back on and see what happens here. But that doesn't have anything to do with the town zombies. I don't see any. So I don't know what they did with them. They don't like zombies in Oklahoma, I guess. Is that There's a public swimming pool. I haven't seen one of those in a map yet, I don't think. Jeremy Burnett's in the house. Hey, Jeremy. How are you? All right, so yeah, this is a little bit of town here. Uh, right on the edge of town is your vegetable farm. And it's, it's done a little bit different. You put your items in there, and then 
it, there's a spot over there where they all come out on a conveyor belt. I don't know what you need, but we can look real quick, I think. What do we need? We need feed. Feed? All right, I'm gonna figure out what that was. Uh, I had a map recently that had feed M and feed C, and I can't remember what feed M and feed C was. Anybody remember? Because I didn't play that map very long. Can't remember which one it was. Feed M and feed C. Ah, I can't remember. Oh, there it is, right there. Never mind, manure and compost. They're calling it feed. All right, so you have to put both in, manure and compost, and then water, and then it shows up over here. Yeah, whenever, you, whenever you're looking at a computer, you can't figure anything out, step back and look. There's a big sign, usually. <laughs> Just kidding. Are we going to do some farming? Yes, yes, yes. I want to look at the map first, though. I'm excited because I liked this map when I played it on 2015. Water compost and manure. Yeah, so Alan, uh, Alan just woke up, so he's a little cranky, I think. <laughs> or was that me being cranky? I can't recall. All right, I'll do a quick flyover. I won't stop anymore. I'll just point things out. All right, so you got your um, garden center here, looks like. This is what? Okay, here's where the rest of your lumber stuff is. There's a spot here for, for doing lumberjack and stuff. So this might be a pallet place here. Uh, there's um, there's a, a cell point for things here. And we've got... That makes some kind of pallet board, or not pallet boards. Um, what else did we have? We had something else that was... That was... Uh, had to do with that. What was it? There's board pallets, tables, cargo boxes. All right, I think you can make some cargo boxes. I'm not sure there. And then this is a board factory that makes the boards for making the other stuff. There's your dairy over here. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but that building, these two buildings with the red uh, roofs, I don't know what you put in there. This one calls for sugar. So I'm thinking one of these is for the ice cream and another one is for the, what was it, uh, butter. I think that's a butter one and that is a ice cream one. And then of course there's your dairy over there. Here's another place where you can lumberjack if you feel like it. It's not as neat and tidy as that other place. Hey, Logan. Logan's in the house. He snuck in the back door. I'm fine. Well rested. I'm just giving you a hard time now. Thanks for stopping by, Logan. All right, here's your lime factory. You can make lime. Again, as I said before, you can put it in your coconut or wherever you want. Where am I? All right, I missed a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff over here. At the end of town. Or maybe I didn't. There's a Quaker place. There's a Con Agra. Some place called Casey's. I don't know what that is. Mike's in the house. How you doing today, Mike? Good to see you again. Right, there's a little bit of, of production here. I don't recall what it is. Let's see. Oh, okay, this is just your normal stuff. So you got your your uh, wool place to sell wool, that kind of stuff. And then this is another Con Agra someplace. And 
yeah, same thing. Just, we'll check it out later. Let me get out of here. I got about 100 miles an hour I can go. If I just put it to the floor. The never ending map. Oh, oh, Alan's gonna crack the jokes. Alright. Well, you know what? That that gives me more time to. Oh, I see a car. That gives me more time to just play the game. I'll let somebody else crack the jokes. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you got more lumberjack in here. And. That was the lime place we looked at. I think that's another farm here. Let's see. This is Mary's farm. And I think at Mary's farm in the original, couldn't you sell stuff here? Can't recall. Look at this field over here. This field over here is huge. This is a big one. That's a big field. <laughs> now you got Scorpion cracking the jokes. Right, let's see. Over here, I know there was a place. Maybe I'm not there yet. There's a place to sell your lime. I think it's over there somewhere. What is this? Oh, this is the main farm. I'm way off track. Okay, in the uh, northwest is the brewery. It looks just like a regular brewery, except for it takes uh, barley and wheat instead of uh, hops. There's a biogas plant right next to farm two and the refinery. I don't know what you do at the Crisco place. So I want to take a quick look at that. That's right, that's right, Alan. But hey, I'm not the only one in the chat, so you can spam it, I don't care. All right, there's a Crisco place, but I don't know if you do anything here. It's got it's got a place to drop stuff off. I always thought Crisco was, isn't that lard? There's the refinery, and the biogas plant is just a normal biogas plant. Beyond that is the brewery, and like I said, it's a normal brewery that you've seen in every other map except we changed it to do barley and wheat instead of hops. Steve, the farmer's in the house. How you doing, Steve? Thanks for coming in. Keep me company. I appreciate it. I'm almost done with this flyby, and then I'll start buying some equipment. What is that? That is... That's an agribusiness, another sell point. There is a... Uh, soy milk plant here. And I'm assuming that it's like every other one, that you can only do things at certain times of the day. But it gives you something to do with the soy. And then, let's see, there was something else. In the bottom is the sugar factory. No, wait. It may be in the southeast, the sugar factory. I can't, I can't remember. There's a place over there where you sell your lime, right there. And then, what is this? This is a flower plant, I think. Yeah, that's a flour mill there. Another agribusiness over there. An elevator and a cotton mill. There is a cotton mill. Now, I think the only thing you do is sell your cotton. I don't think you produce anything. But that's okay. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm thinking. So there's the cotton mill. I'm doing good, Steve. Thanks for asking. Joseph, I don't know if it is or not. I found it on uh, American Eagle Modding, and generally, 
generally when somebody puts their mod on American Eagle, it, it isn't anywhere else. Unless somebody takes it, puts it up without permission. So I don't know. I didn't. I didn't check. I just every once in a while I'll go onto American Eagle modding and look to see what they have, and I found it. I had downloaded it, and uh, there you go. There's another little area for placeables if you want it. Look, dog chasing the cat. No, is he? It is. I hope he catches it. There's another farm here. No, no, this is uh, Gomez, I think. Yeah, this is Gomez. It's a sell point. Here's where you sell your uh, animals for uh, for money, I believe. I'm not sure, but I thought I saw. No, I don't think I did. I was gonna say I thought I saw a slaughterhouse, but I don't think I did. And we're coming to the end here. Uh, you got a seed production place. Remember, I told you that there was one of those. There's a seed master on the farm. But there's a regular factory over here in the corner. Steve, it's working great. Uh, I've been able to really, to really uh, do some work with it. I've got. Uh, it takes me about 45 minutes to do a 4K recording because I record in 4K. Uh, it takes me about 45 minutes to film one, and. I can render it in about 55 minutes. So it's almost real time. It's between 50 and 55. And it takes a little bit longer because it's 4K. But yeah, I can almost do it in real time. This is your seed machines here. So I'm thinking it's the normal one where you're making fertilizer, seeds, and, uh, and whatever else that you do when you do that. But it's kind of nice to know you can do that. You've also got, oh shoot, I just ran into a power line electrocute myself. There's one of these things in. I've never used it. I don't know what the hell to do with this. It's like a pro propane uh, plant or something. And I've actually never used it before, so I don't know how. I'm about to figure that out. And there's your sugar factory to haul your beets in. Got another co op here. Lots of co ops. And then over here is your compost factory. You're making compost. So I don't know what all you can do here, but it looks like you can do a couple of different extra things here. The reason I say that is there's your compost machine right there. So what is that? That's That looks like liquid poo-poo. And down below, there's a couple of other places that you're picking stuff up so I don't know that's a wood chipper there I'm not entirely sure what the hell you do here oh shoot I just landed some place I shouldn't have so I'm not sure I'm gonna have to check this out is that fertilizer or something I think that must be fertilizer so you're able to do a couple of different things there and then that's about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and uh, there's a mini G B, uh, um, what do you call that? B G A, a mini one. Oh shoot! I'm, gonna this one. I'm too excited. Gino's in the house. And Idros, and Idros, whatever. You're... That sounds like it sounds like something got stuck in the back of your throat. that you're too embarrassed to cough out. Now talk about that. I I woke up about three o'clock in the morning just with a terrible heartburn. I hate it when you cough up a little bit of uh, stomach acid and that's what happened. Woke me up, almost couldn't go back to sleep. I'm landing this sucker. I just leased this helicopter. So I don't care if I ruin it. I'm just going to jump out of it. 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna send it back. I don't think I need it anymore. Um, a garage. Let's go to the garage. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna return that, and I need to start buying some equipment. So we're gonna do some farming. Like I said, uh, for those that are joining late, when you get this map, you do not own any land. Uh, you also do not own any equipment. The only equipment I bought was that truck over there, and that was to give me some place to teleport to. Um, what I did instead... Oh, oh! by the way, since you don't get land or equipment, you get $3,500,000. This is your main farm. What I did was I kept the $3.5 and, and I went in and bought field one two three four and five because i wanted to start the live stream by having something to do and so that's what i did now you can buy field one two three four and five and still have over a million dollars left but you're not going to get a whole lot of equipment for one million dollars i'll tell you that the combines are you know take half of that so i'm going to buy some starting equipment here so first of all, I'm going to need a harvester because I have fruit on the vine here. I'm going to have to get rid of this stuff. I don't need it. I don't need the sugar cane. I'll keep the potato and the sugar beet. I tried to only put in uh, minimal equipment on this. So let me buy a whackified. I'm uh, just going to do a standard whackified. And then I'm going to get... I don't have any corn yet, so I'm going to wait on buying that. I'm only going to buy stuff when I need it, I think. So let me just grab one of those. And the reason I'm doing that is to keep uh, a minimum amount of equipment on to keep the keep the uh, FPS down. Okay, so I have that now. I need a truck. So let's see about getting a truck. Where's the trucks? I'm going to go ahead and get my normal wheat truck here. And get that. Uh-oh. That's not the one I wanted. Oh, no. I bought the wrong dang truck. Oh, well, I'll keep it for now. This is the one I wanted right here. Uh, attachers. I'm going to put an attacher on it just in case I need it. Uh, engine setup. Wait a minute. That's not it. Where's my normal truck? Maybe that is it. Maybe that's it. Never mind. I'm mistaken. Let me get a, a trailer, though. Let's see. Where did we find those John Deere trailers? It was in miscellaneous, I think. Why they're in miscellaneous, I do not know. But that seems to be where he put them. All right, so I'm going to buy one of those. Uh, hang on. I want to get one of those. I think I'm going to need some caffeine. My brain's not working today. Let me go back to the trailers because that's not the trailer I was looking for. It's the wheat trailer, that one that I want right there. All right, so I have a harvester. I have a trailer. What else do I need? I won't need a cedar yet, so let's start with that. Let's grab this. Anthony's in the house. I like it, Gino. I liked it in 2015. This is Oklahoma. I played it in 2015. For those that are interested, I did a uh, I did a first look at the 2015 version way back in the day, about two years ago. And I'm going to put the link to that in the description when this goes on to YouTube. If you're interested in comparing the two maps... Because it is the original uh, Amada author that brought this over to 2017. I like it, Steve. So far, liquid fertilizer, Mike says. Andreas. Uh, I'm, I'm not pronouncing that right. Anhydrous. That's right, Alan. I need a soup du jour. I do, but it's a little early. Um, 
let me, I'm going to call Doctor Who and have me get me to the farm because I don't want to wait. Let's start off with field number one. And let me put my wheels up, open this thing up. Where am I? I'm in the wrong corner, I think. Let's get, oh, it's one of those ones that's like a panhandle. Let's start over in this squarish corner. Actually, let me think here. I'm going to start off in this corner, way over here. Because I think he'll be able to see the whole field from this corner. 15 minutes already. I was just kind of excited because I loved Oklahoma when I played it in 2015. I couldn't remember, actually. I knew I played it. I couldn't remember, so last night when I found this map, I went way back on my YouTube page into my archives and found the original Oklahoma and watched a couple episodes of it just to remind myself why I liked it. But anyway, let's see here. We're going to do a course play route just for hoots and giggles. And this is field number one. 13.2 uh, meters. We're starting in the northwest. Whoops, I missed it. Whoops, I missed it again. There we go. Northwest, we're going to be going east. And I want to do at least one headland, I think. Let's generate it. Save it. Field Aunt 1. Harvesto. Okay, so we're going to need next probably something to pick up the straw. So, like I said, I'm going to try to only buy equipment. Why is he putting his pipe out? Cool, look at that icon down there. Where's that coming from? I wonder if that's part of the map. Um, the only mod this map comes with is the actual farm, the Oklahoma farm, and the uh, the crop mowing mod. I've never used a crop mowing mod, so I'm not quite sure how it works. But anyway, let's see. I do need also to buy um, a thing. Did I buy a thing already? I did. I bought a thing or two. There's my truck. Might as well get it going, I guess. You having a birdie? Like I said, this map's pretty much all ready to go. You don't have any equipment. You don't have any land. But you got three and a half million dollars. The The storage on the main farm holds almost everything. I didn't go through the list, but when I looked at the list in uh, Giant Editor, it was pretty full. Uh, so it holds almost everything, and it holds 3,300,000. So it's uh, it's got enough storage for you. All right, now let's see. Where's the map in conjunction to this? Over there, how do I get there? Let's see, where do I want to put this truck? I definitely want to put this truck where he can see the whole field. So I want to put him in that corner over there. And then, okay, I can drive straight to the silos right there. So yeah, that's good, that's good. Because there's a little bit of a, of a cutout in this field, I want to get in the furthest corner so that if this truck is in this corner, you can see the whole field. See what I mean? Right where the combine is now, if I started in that corner, he wouldn't be able to see behind in the direction that the truck is facing. So I want it to go here somewhere. So let's just start it about here. I'm gonna start maybe in the field a little bit. So he's got plenty of room to turn around. 
FS19. It's coming soon to a computer near you. All right, we're going to do um, combine right there. We're going to start the course. I just have to decide which way I want to approach the farm silo. And I can't remember. I've only been there once. That sure looks like thin straw, doesn't it? The windrow. It's got a weird look. I like that big fluffy stuff. I did not put the straw mod in. That might be a problem. This, um, this map does have the terrain mod in it. What else? I don't think he put the mud mod in. I can live without that. I think I'm going to come in and approach it on this side. This may be completely backwards. Nine weeks. Oh, come on, Alan. Have you got it on your calendar? Alan's counting down. Have you got the hours? So it's nine weeks, 10 hours, 20 minutes, and 35 seconds. I think I came in the wrong way. Oh, dang it. I shouldn't have done that. How do I want to approach this thing? I'm going crazy here. I'm going to fix this here. This isn't right. Okay, where's the rest of the fields? Where am I? Where am I? Right. Okay, I think I want, I'm going backwards. Let me stop there. I don't want to do this. I'm going backwards. I want to, I want to approach this silo from the other side. Five weeks after release. Okay. What's up, birdie? Oh, I'm trying to read the, mat, the chat and I can't drive and read the chat at the same time. I can't drive, much less read the chat at the same time. All right, uh, let's dump most of that, of course, and start over. My finger's getting tired. A tired finger here. You know what the best part of this map is? Did you guys see the farm wife? The best part is when the day's over and we can hit that swimming pool. Maybe she'll be out with a pie. There'll be a pie on the patio and a swimming pool. Red, i.e. not birdie. Okay, you still lost me. I don't speak Scottish. I don't speak English. There is mud on the map there. That looks like mud, doesn't it? I don't know how much mud's in Oklahoma, but there must be some. Right, so I'm going to try to come in. I'll have to remember this. Oh, I'm in the wrong side. Dang it. All right, I definitely want to come in from this side. All right, let's start again. There we go. This will work. Now I'm gonna follow the original tracks because I wanna go in a circle here. And head out this way.
Gino says no Santa for him. Last year, he did it wrong. Asked for a fat bank account and a slim body. <laughs> So, Gino's getting nothing for Christmas but a lump of coal, I guess. I ain't getting nothing for Christmas because I ain't been nothing but that. Meat and onion savory pasty. Never heard of it. You guys eat the weirdest stuff over there. Bangers and mash and some kind of meat pies. I don't know. I swear to God, if I ever moved to France, I'd starve to death. They have the weirdest food, too. I don't know why I did that. I just messed up big time. I'm going to leave a little space here. See if it helps them turn around. Oh, now what the heck was this? This was uh, Field 1. Field op one, green to farm. Whoops, farm. It was farm. Green to farm. And let's let him go and see what he does. Never had a birdie in 20 years. Andy, at least you know what he's talking about. Let's go find uh, this guy. Oh, before we do, let's go back. We need to put this in a category. Category three. Combine is in category two. Um, this will be category five. And did I buy animals? I thought I did. I might have bought animals because I knew I was going to want some. I did not buy any animals yet. I want to do that right away, so let's get uh, the thing and have Doctor Who drop the thing off at hayfield number two. And I got to get some hay going because I've got I'm going to buy animals right away. Isn't it nice? He gave you a place to put things here. You got a place to place things if you if you want to place something. I don't know what I would place there, but. Now, I don't think this is an actual field, so we're going to have to play this by ear. I'm going to start it in this corner. I don't know why, just because. I'm going to start it here. And let's see. We're going to do a work, a field, field work. We're going to start here. Uh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Not a field work. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, I'm making a temporary course. That's what I'm going to do. Let me just go. I don't know. I tell you, I swear, my mind is just not working today. I have days like that, I'll tell you what. Say birdie. Birdie Rudy. Birdie Rudy. Is that what you want me to say? That's what it says on my screen. Can't beat a scotch pie. You put your drinks, your alcohol in a pie? I swear. The some of the stuff you guys eat. You eat beans for breakfast. I guess it'd keep you warm all day, but I don't think you'd be very popular at work. I'm just going to make a big square here. A scotch pie. I don't get it. Alright, let's call it here. Stop. Stop that. We've got that. Let's open this puppy up. Bring him in here. And I want to generate a course now. 
Going to be using the currently loaded course, which is what I just drove. It's not 3 meters, it's 13 meters. Starting location is the southeast. Southeast, we're going to be heading north. North to Alaska. I don't think I need... I don't think I need a... Uh, a headland, so I'm going to go without one. We're going to generate that course. We're going to name it. Um, grass field one mo. Was it grass field one or was this grass field two? Or does it even matter? I'm going to call it one. I can change it later. And we're going to save that, and we're going to run it. But before I run it, I need to put the other part of the of the course together here. And I'm hoping that that silo does grass. If it doesn't, then I've got a reason to put something in the placeable area here. I'll put a Maurice in. Okay, so let's get rid of that course. We're going to open this thing up again. We're going to go over here to that. Start the course, and off we go. Okay, now, this is the outside. I don't want to come in this way. I want to go out that way. So, um... Let me just run around here. I could go across the grass, but I'm trying to be a good boy. Because unlike Gino, I want something for Christmas. So I don't want to be bad. All right, hang on. Where's my silo? Hang on. Alan's giving me a bad time again over something, but I can't read this chat right now. It, oh, it, it annoys you or it annoys me? I don't know why I do that. I think it's because um, I'm a little probably older than you are. And if you remember in the old days, they used to say uh, in the year 20 ought seven, in the year, in the year 14 ought seven, Who knows? I say a lot of weird things, though, because I think they're funny. How some people do things, you know. I, I laugh. It makes me laugh when I say something a little bit different than than you're expecting to hear. It just makes me smile. Hang on. We're going to do grass field one, two, silo. Okay, now... Get rid of that. We're going to go to field work. We're going to grab our original one, uh, the mowing one. And then we're going to grab... I'm going to go out and come back in. I don't know if that makes any difference, but I've always done that way, and it always seemed to work, so I'm doing it that way. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. All right, here we go. Oh, that's pretty looking. But we gotta go faster than that. That's not good. It'd take me all day to do that. Field Aunt One. Uh huh. No Scotch pie is mince or Americans say ground beef. You call it Scotch? Uh, I don't get it. What's he doing? Is that how I did that? He's going over the same... Oh, I see. That's just the start. All right. We got it. Field uh, one. How's the combine doing? How's the truck doing? Doggone it. That combine holds so much product 
I don't know if I'm going to need to track. Isn't that weird? What's he got? What do I, what do I have it set at? Let's look. Uh, start at 50% and drive at 90. I'm going to drop this down to 80. And then let's go take a look at that combine again. He's almost at 50%, so at 50%, he should be coming around the mountain when he comes. All right, so now I need to do, I, I'm going to need a quicker picker upper. So let's see here. I need a forage wagon, not a manure spreader. I need a forage wagon. Uh, let me grab that one. That's the one I like to use just because I do. No beacon light. No, I've got to have a beacon light. We're going to buy that. And then we need something to pull it with. What am I going to do about tractors now? I did not put all my tractors in. Like I said, I'm kind of putting things in and then seeing what I can't live without and then bringing it in. Cause I, I had, in the, in the last few maps I've got, I've got probably 200 mods in there and I only use about 50 of them. And so there's no reason to keep putting all of those in. So I did not, I only put the big buds in for now. So I'm going to grab me a big bud because I'm going to use it for other stuff. That's why I'm doing this. So let's grab, uh, let's grab a little bud. It's going to be standard rim color. I don't care. Why is the rim color silver? Let's make it white so it matches the rest of the rig. Okay, we're going to get one of those. And then I'm going to need something to plow with. So let's go back and I'm going to get the 747. Twin wheels is fine with me. I'm going to buy one of those. I need a plow. Fields on this map are pretty good size. So I'll probably stick with my big plow. All righty then. And next I'm going to need a cedar, but I don't need it right now. So I'm going to wait. Let's grab... Uh, how's he doing anyway? He's almost full. I want to, I want to make sure that his other... Uh, rest of the route works well. Thanks, Ginger. It's soup du jour. I need it today. I'll let you guys guess what it is. You can probably tell when I open it. If you listen hard enough, that should tell you what it is. Mmm. Oh, man. That hits the spot. Alrighty then, I'm back. I had to get up and stretch for a second. Okay, there he goes. Let's see if he's going to work properly. Oh, I hope so. What? What are you saying? Alan? What do you mean? Spell it out, buddy. A beer, a beer and he says it's a beer. If I drank a beer about five minutes from now, the, the microphone would go completely quiet and I'd be on the floor. I do not drink. It, put, it makes me pass out. Okay, so, hey, let's, while I'm dinking around waiting for this stuff to work, let me check uh, this guy. Oh, there he goes. He's going for it, everybody. He's going for it. All right, I want. To, I got my speed boots on. I'm. I'm assuming that he's going to do fine, uh, which is probably a big mistake. Let me run over to the animals. I want to buy some animals right away because I want to get them growing. And I'm still waiting for Alan to tell me what he's. He's, he's bad mouthing my wife. I don't know why. 
Uh, for those of you that don't know, I play another game called Farmer's Dynasty. And in that game, you can have a wife and children. And I've been patiently trying to have a family. And nothing I've done has worked. And in the last episode, uh, I think something's happening. It's no beer, only 35% alcohol. Is it, Okay, you're going to have to help me out. Is 35% a lot of alcohol in in the content of things uh, let's see I want to buy some pigs and if I'm not mistaken that's a lot more than anything you get in the states as far as that goes I tell you what I'm gonna do right now I'm only gonna buy 10 of each animal for now till I get established that's just gonna give me something to go on here Okay, there. Look, my pigs are in there. I got pigs. I got pigs. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, so pretty. What's that one doing? He's flying pigs. When pigs fly, they're... Oh, look at that. Oh, they're talented. I have talented pigs. I love it. All right, let's grab uh, some cattle here. We're going we're gonna to do again 10. And confirm that. There we go. Let's grab some sheep. I hate sheep, but I don't mind them on the farm. Uh, where? Oh, right there. All right, right here. Let's grab ten of those. Ten of those. Confirm. Do that. Now I'm gonna need more equipment. I want to buy. I think I. I think I picked up everything. Did I pick up everything from the garage? No, I didn't. I've got a big butt over there. i got a big butt and I cannot lie. We're going to hook up Little Bud. Even, look at the size of Little Bud. Even Little Bud's a big butt. I didn't do the bedroom bit. I don't think you have to. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I was just excited to see something was going on. Either she's got a serious case of gas coming on, or she's pregnant. And again, people, for, for those that don't watch my other video, the the wife in the game, I, I went to talk to her before bed one, one day, after farm day, and... She, her stomach was sticking out about a foot. So I got all excited because I think she's pregnant. Alan says he seems to think it might be just gas, but I don't know. I, if it is gas, I'm not popping that balloon. I'll tell you that right now. All right, so let's see. I want to purchase uh, a truck. I need to purchase... Oh, what am I doing? Get out of that. Get in that. I need to purchase a truck. So I want to get the one I was trying to get earlier, and I was all confused. So, and I think it's in uh, the trailers are in miscellaneous, but the truck is in here. I want to buy one of those. This is going to be my transportation truck. So I'm going to probably do, you know, the uh, the whole the whole enchilada with the uh, dolly and the two trailers, that kind of thing. I want the big uh, engine though, and wheel setup default. I don't care. I don't know what default is, so I usually go over to original because I think, well, original is probably better than default. I don't know. The design, I want the American design because that puts the naked girl on the side of the truck. And let's get that. <sighs> now we have to go back to miscellaneous because that's where the uh, trailers are. So we're going to go into miscellaneous right there. And I'm going to buy one of those. And I want the hitches on it. I don't know which one's going to go in the front or in the back. So I'll put hitches on both of them. And then we're going to come back and get the other one this time. Again, I'll buy the hitches on it. Now, I'm going to need water. So for the water, I'm going to do uh, the road train. I want a couple things from the road train. No, I don't. I just want, I just want a, a milk truck for now. So I don't. 
generally get this one. I usually get that one, so I'm going to buy it. And uh, I'm going to put the trailer hitch on it. Red? No, I'm going to put it blue because it's mostly white. But if I put it blue, then I can also kind of use it in my mind for water. So there you go. Wheel setup, standard, I don't care. Rim color, I'm going to make it black. Uh, generic fuel decals, show fill type decals, I guess so. Let's go with that. And, and that. And then I also need a truck to pull it with. So I'm going to go ahead and get the road train truck just because. I'm going to get this one right here. Because it's got a bigger engine. That's why I get that one. Semi-trailer only. No, I want all the hookups. I'm going to put the big engine in it. I don't want it red. I'm just going to make it white because that's what my pickup is. Wheel setup. Standard, I guess. Rim color. No. Black. Stock parts. No, I want chrome parts. We're going to get that and that. Now, eventually, I'm going to have to get a dolly. But I don't need it right now. I do need it for the other one, though. And the dolly I want for the John Deere outfit is the cat one because it's chrome. Now, this is deceiving. These trucks are not orange yellow. They are black. So this dolly will be black and it'll match up that other set just perfectly. So I'm going to buy that. That's enough money to be spent for now. I still... See, I'm down to a million and a half already. Alrighty. When pigs fly, the price of bacon goes up. That's a good one, Craig. I like that. Daz, 17098 is in the house. Is that up? Plow a private mod. It is not a private mod, but I have remodded. Almost every mod that I use, I have remodded. So the only thing I did to it was to make it go faster. This thing will plow at about 24 miles an hour. If you get this from a mod site, I get all my mods from Mod Hub USA. That's where I get all my mods, about 95% of them. Uh, if you get it from there, it'll be the same mod it just will only do about 9 to 12 miles an hour. I can't remember. Uh, that was too slow for me because I do things the rude man way. The rude man way for me is to get the job done a little quicker. So I remodded it to do about 24 miles an hour. But almost every one of my mods has been remodded by me to do something different. Something special. So just saying. Uh, I don't need this right now. I don't think. I might. I gotta pick up that straw first. I just want this out of the way for now. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that, let's put this in category six. And then this one's gonna go in category three, I think. That's where most of my trucks go. This one I want to go into farm equipment, and I put farm equipment in four. And that's it for that. Let's grab this guy. I was mistaken. I thought this was mostly white and only a little bit of blue. It's all blue, isn't it? I should have left it alone. Now, the reason I want this is I need to water the pigs because they have a separate water system than the other. So let me jump down to about... Let me get in this hay field right here. And hope there's not a fence around it. Is there a ditch? Nope. Yes, there was a ditch there. Minimum is a dollar. Oh, you talking about my patron? Yeah. Uh, if you, I don't. I. I, uh, I have a patron page for people that want to give me support and help me make these videos and stuff. I'm not trying to make a living, so I don't advertise it much. And you can become a patron for whatever you want. You can donate $10, $5, but I've got it set so anybody can join as a patron at $1 if they don't, uh, if they don't want to spend a lot of money, but they still want to support me. And if you do that, then you have access to all my mods directly from me. I keep a Windows OneDrive page 
um, that's so full I had to pay for it. But <laughs> anyway, I keep all my mods on there. You get the link to that. You can download my mods directly from me. So there you go. And I, I shouldn't say my mods because they're not my mods. They're mods. Uh, I'm not a modder. I know how. I just don't. Where in the hell's the water on this? Anyway, uh, there you go. If you if you're interested in that, you can find it on my YouTube. There's a link on my YouTube page. And for those of you that are patrons and you know who you are, you know I appreciate it an awful lot, and I thank you every time I play this game. So I don't know where to get the water. I'll tell you what, I didn't put that in either. Uh, is there a ditch or something around here? I saw a pond someplace. Well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it right now. They're not going to die. I'll tell you what I do want to do, though. I want to get those automated ones going. Because that's going to take a couple days. Now, again, uh, for those of you that are joining later than when I first started, uh, this map does not come with this automated water system. I put this in with Giant Editor myself, so... Anyway, uh, would you like to pay $5,000? No, I really wouldn't, but I'm going to. To install a new pipeline to allow direct filling of the sheep water trough. Maintenance costs are $20 a day. Now, when you place this in using Giant Editor, it is a, a, a placeable mod using Giant Editor. When you do, you can, you can, there's a couple of choices you can make. The first one is, if it rains, do you want the trough to fill up with the rain? And I said yes. The second option you can choose is whether you want to go through this rigmarole that I'm going to through. What that is, is I'm paying $5,000. You say yes. They're going to hire a plumber. A plumber's going to come not until tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. to install your new tech farm fill system. Installation will be completed at 1400 so that's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So it takes him from 6 to 2 o'clock all tomorrow, and I'll have my water trough going. You can choose to bypass all of that. You can choose to just put the water trough in. I like to mess around with it, so I'm going to do it the right way. And there you go. I'm glad, Gino. I mean, you know, it makes me happy. It, any little bit helps because... You know, it, it, it costs money to do this. I'm a small-time, you know, YouTuber. I don't make any money. I, I'm lucky to make enough to pay my internet. And so it helps out. keeps me going. And that's why I do it. I'm not trying to make a living at it. Um, I just I just appreciate a little bit of help. So why did I come over here? Which one did I just do? Did I do that one? I don't think I did. I think I did the other one. All right, we're going to do this again. Yes. Okay. It's ready. Tomorrow I should have water. And let's go check on the combine. Combine's in trouble. What are you doing? Who was driving that anyway? Alan. Is Alan still on? Look what you're doing, Alan. You got me stuck on a fence. Uh, since we're talking about patrons... If you if you notice, it says that Jeremy Nelms is driving my truck, and and uh, I just turned this off. But Alan Clark was driving this. They are a couple of my patrons, and if you're one of my patrons, you get to drive my equipment, and you get at the end of the harvest, you get a bucket or two of grain for pay. So there you go. If you if you need a little bit of wheat or barley, that's the best way to do it. Just work for me on the farm, and uh, you'll make all kinds of money. Not. I don't know what happened over here. He got, he got out of whack somehow. All right, let's hire somebody here to finish this out. Who do we have? Steve Jones is now working the combine. Thank you, Daz. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy it.
right, so let me run through here. How did he do? Is he still running? What? What? Why did he stop? What's he doing? Uh, something's not right here. Two combined courses. Let me see. You know what this farm doesn't have? It doesn't have one of them fancy bulletin boards that tells you what's in the thing. I need to put that in. I don't think it's in my, uh, I don't think I put that in my mod list. I don't think I did. Placeables. Let's see. All right, I got my cell point. I got the mixing stations. No, I didn't put it in. Okay, let me grab my piece of paper, make myself a list here. I need to add that in there. Add farm bulletin board. I don't know what they call that. Farm. I'm just going to call it that. That'll remind me what it is. Cool beans. Oh, I forgot I had soup du jour today. Oh, man. Good, good, good. <laughs> Fill in the boxes. Plant a lot of hemp. It doesn't have it on this map. I do have a map that I'm playing that has it on there. Is it Robillard? It, I can't remember. I think it's Robillard that you can grow marijuana. All right. Uh, Steve Jones is having trouble now. I, I probably should have... Uh, put two headlands here. I probably should have. Tell you what, there's only this one left. I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. So the field textures, if you look at the windrow, it looks kind of weird, doesn't it? I'm used to that big fluffy windrow, and I, I'm guessing that maybe that came from the straw mod, because I didn't put the straw mod in. But I don't know, it could be part of this map that has kind of light windrow. You know what? Let me run over and grab. Let me grab this one because. Let's put this in group number five. And let me grab Doctor Who and have him plant me in field number one. And I want to get him started picking this stuff up because I still need to plow. Field one on this, that's it right there. There he goes. Now look at that. Look at those icons. What's causing that? I wonder, because I didn't have anything that did that before. That's cool, I guess. Pretty sweet. You know what I didn't do though? I didn't create a course to drive this to the farm. Maybe I better do that. Is it is it Andre or Andre? Andre Oliver. Hello, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to start recording. I'm going to head back to the farm. Now i got to figure out what's going wrong with Thing. He's not having a good time over there. Well, 
poor thing. He's having a tough day. No, here it comes. I wonder if this doesn't take grass. It doesn't take straw, so okay, I'm going to have to mod this. I'm going to have to mod this because I want it to take grass and straw. So, in the meantime, I'm going to have to do something different. Let me just keep going with this, though. That's why things are going crazy over there. He's trying to get rid of his full tank and he can't do it. So until I can remod this map, I'll uh, I'll put in a Maurice to hold the grass and straw. Zero one. That's for Alan. Straw to silo. That was just for you, Alan. See, I can say zero. All right, let's uh, grab the field one harvest. Go out back in again and grab straw to silo. That's, you know what? I, I don't need to do that because it's not going to work. Um, let me just do the let me just do the harvest one, and I'll have to manually dump it. And that means that I'm going to have to buy. Uh, where's my placeables? Placeables. I'm going to have to get me a Maurice if I put it in here. I hope I did. Oh, Maurice isn't in here. Maurice has its own. There it is. Let me grab one of those, and I'm going to put it somewhere. Uh, I'm just going to put it right here on the road, I think, for now. Uh, I can't see what's going on here. Oh, there. that's That'll work. Let me put it on the other side. I'm going to move it anyway. I'm not going to keep it. So I just want to put it out of the way here a little bit. What the hey? I'll put it there. Okay, so let's go grab Thing. He's going dizzy over here trying to get rid of his grass. Let's stop him. Get rid of that for now. Look at all the gas he's went through. Just running back and forth trying to dump his grass. That's funny. Yeah, I'm back on schedule for Sunday, Alan. A unless something happens that I don't foresee. Uh, I'll be back on Sunday. I just got excited because I like this map on 2015. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a live stream just to check it out. Because I was going to be checking it out anyway. So I thought I might as well live stream it while I'm looking at it. So anyway, there you go. All righty then. Oh, your internet dropped out? Do you have decent internet, Alan? I do now. I, I had pretty good internet before. It just doubled when I asked about it. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to mow any more grass right now because I don't have any place to put it. I, I have a little bit done now. I'll just leave it at that. Uh-oh.
trouble. It's okay. There's no... That boom on that trailer doesn't have any collision on it, so I'll be fine. You've got fiber optic? Oh my god. We don't have fiber optic here. There's, uh... The United States is so big. If you live out in the outskirts of any kind of city, you don't get stuff like that. There's not enough people there to justify them bringing it to you. So, we don't have fiber optic. I don't know if we ever will. There's only 5,000 some people in my little town. Now, the surrounding area has, you know, more people. But we don't have big cities here. They're just, they're just little places. Where's my next field? I think it's over yonder. Uh, yeah, Gino, I looked at that. Uh, God, who told me about that? I think it was... I think it was uh, Mr. Walker told me about that, I think. To look at it. thought it was pretty interesting. Daryl Walker is one of my subscribers, and he sent me a comment. Said I should look at it. I was going to... That's why I went out last night. I was looking for that one, but I went to... Uh, American Eagle modding first and I found this one and I forgot all about that one it's a Gino's talking about a one that's called a factory map and you, you kind of have to build your own deal it sounds like don't know I'll have to check it out though he says it looked pretty interesting right so this is field what number two we are in the northwest <coughs> Pardon me. We are going to generate a course. Did I close out the other course? I didn't. Let me get rid of that. That would have caused a problem. We're going to generate a course. It's field number two. Uh, we're starting in the, again, the northwest. We're going to be heading east. That's all set up. This looks to be a bigger field, so I'm going to do two headlands on it. We're going to generate that and then we're going to save it. Field zero to harvest. Stefan, how are you? I'm doing good. Hope you're doing well. I'm glad you could make it. Uh-oh, what's that mean? Oh, I have wheat in the... Oh, shoot. I didn't realize that. Let me... Let me get rid of the wheat. I gotta get this truck out of the way anyway, right? Alright, here we go. Stefan, how's life treating you over across the pond? I hear you got Bill back in your general direction. I haven't seen Ghost today. Stefan and Ghost uh, live across a river from each other. Not literally, I don't think, but their country is divided by a river, I guess. I could probably have that wrong, but that's what I know. That's what I thought they told me. Oh, I'm I'm clear across the country from the storm. Uh, storms on the uh, southeast corner of uh, the storm, Florida. I'm over in the northwest corner. I'm a long ways away from that storm. Thank God. Working and working and working. That, that makes the world go round, I guess. Yeah, fortunately, the West Coast does not get the storms that the East Coast gets. The East Coast gets hit all the time. Uh, te uh, even Texas, even inland, a little, you know, there, through that Gulf. We don't get storms like that on the West Coast. On that, on, well, gosh, hardly ever.
Okay, so we got a little bit of wheat. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take this wheat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take this wheat. No, yeah, no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not. I want to make some beer, and it takes wheat and barley. Uh, the wheat field is small. I'm going to keep the wheat. When the barley comes off, I'm going to fill that seed machine up over there. Joe Dokes is in the house. Hey, Joe. Hope you're good. Oh, my God. Phil's in North Carolina. I'll bet it is. I saw some kind of an interview with somebody that's been in uh, that part of the country for quite some time. And they were saying that this is the first storm that actually had him scared to death. And it hadn't even hit yet. Just from just from what they see coming. Because uh, I, I saw that a, a day or two ago. And the guy said, yeah. He said, this is the first storm I've really been terrified of. And it hadn't even hit yet. So it must be a bad one. Andre lives in North Carolina, so we have uh, somebody with first-hand information on the storm. You see, where I'm from, we had thunderstorms, and and they they could be, you know, severe, but. Uh, we had the kind of thunderstorms you go out on your front porch and enjoy watching. So that's not quite the same. Now that was before I lived on the coast. On the coast now, we do have some nasty storms that come in that are, you know, wind and rain and, and bluster and all that kind of stuff. And they're really nasty. As a matter of fact, we get winds, you know, anywhere from 65 to 100 miles an hour. And they just call it a regular uh, winter storm here. Other places, they'd say, oh, you're having a hurricane. No, it's just a winter storm. I don't know why that pipe keeps staying out like that. What's that all about? All right, hang on. Let me get this thing ready. We're going to hire somebody. Who we got here? Mervyn Gilmore is driving that combine. I don't know why they keep putting the pipe out. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Okay, let's see. Um, that, that. Where did the quicker picker upper go? Oh, he's over in the end here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to manually do this for now till I get that, till I get that modding done. That's okay. We can live with it. It's tough, I tell you, it really is tough. Get those tornado alleys to live in that kind of area. And, you know, the thing of it is that they had enough time to evacuate, but who, who knows? You know, it's like hindsight's 2020, maybe you should evacuate. But, that's not easy either for people to just pick up and and go. Where would they go? You know, unless they have unless they have relatives in a nearby state or something. It's, you know, it's just I don't know. It's just awful. All right, let's see. I gotta get that plow ready. What did I have this guy going for? What was I doing with this guy? Well, let's just get him set up anyway. I know I at least have to do that. So, let me grab, first of all, a trailer. out here where I can maneuver. And then we need to grab the dolly. The dolly llama. See, that dolly works pretty good. This is the cat dolly. 
And if you notice, the trailers have chrome wheels on them. And so does this dolly. So I used a cat dolly. And it works pretty good. This is my naked cowgirl truck. Bill would love it, I'm pretty sure. It's got it's got a cute little naked cowgirl on it. With a smoking gun. Oh, she's packing two pistols. She's a pistol packing mama. Well, I don't know if she's a mama, but you get my idea. Did that hook up? It did hook up. Okay. So, th remember this mod's kind of weird. If you look down in your speedometer down there, it shows a picture of your tractor, but you don't see the trailer or the dolly. So, you kind of have to play it by ear. I jump up now. I'm on the truck. Now I'm on the dolly, so I can unhook. And when you do get it put all together, all of those icons show up. They just don't show up when you're actually putting it together. So eventually it does. Now see, it shows the trailer. I don't know what what it is. If it's the dolly or whatever it is, but. There we go, and everything's showing up. I'll put it on the truck for now. I don't have a use for this truck yet, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it here for now, I guess. All right, I still haven't found water. I don't wanna go look for it, though. I got other things to do. What time is it? I'm getting close to the end of the stream anyway. I'll figure out where the water's at eventually. Uh, Let me see if there's any on the farm proper. I do have a mod to put water in it. It's got a water spout thingy, my bobber. But I don't have it in the folder. I didn't put anything in my folder that I, you know, didn't know if I needed or not. So, by the way, this is another one of those maps that has a really, really, really dark nights that are so cool. Alright, well I know there's a water pond around here somewhere. I just don't see it. Ah, I'll figure it out. Ten plus inches of rain. Now, what you have to remember about that is ten plus inches. That's getting close to a foot, and the rain just doesn't sit there. It runs, and there's where you get the problem. Yeah, Japan and the Philippines, they also get nasty storms. Yeah, <laughs> Stefan. Uh, Bill is a boob. That's why he likes boobs. <laughs> the Bert, dirty blonde truck, yeah. Simulation player says, hello, hello, how are you? I'm thinking about it. Alan, what do you think? I'm getting kind of tired of playing Planes and Simple anyway. I mean, every every week, you know, I like to switch it up once in a while. I think I'm going to keep playing it. I want to find out if it's, you know, if it's uh, as good as it seems like a map. Seems like a very good map. You know what I could do while I'm just dink-assing around here? Let me go to... This guy can pick up straw. 
let me help out uh, our buddy on the uh, other field there. That's what I'm thinking. So I want to get it set up with everything I'm going to need. So I think I'll play it again on Sunday. This guy picks up everything. Wee-ha! Yeah, I think you're right, Joe. I I'm having fun on it. It seems like a very decent map. It seems to run well for a 4X map. I haven't had any snafus or any FPS problems. That's good. Like I said, I got a pretty lean mod list in here right now, though. Yeah, I've got, I've got it, Joe. The thing is, I, I didn't put a bunch of mods in. I only put the initial mods I knew I was gonna need for starting the, the farm up. And I didn't anticipate having animals that early. So I didn't put it in. I didn't put a lot of stuff in. What I'm doing is, I'm waiting to find out what I'm gonna need, and then I'm putting the mod in. Uh, I've been having trouble with the new computer with FPS uh, because it's too high powered. Uh, some of my games that I played before, my kids play The Sims. Uh, damn Sims won't play on it. Uh, I can, I can fix it. I'm waiting for uh, to to mess around with the with the Nvidia drives, but yeah, the damn Sims. I got my kids. I put up a a computer that's got a 970 Nvidia card in it. It's a pretty decent uh, graphics card even though it's, it's a it's a few years old and it won't play the sims on it it's too good a graphics card not weird so anyway i was having a little bit of trouble with this one it's got a uh newer system you know and in a in a bigger uh graphics card than the other system had on it so i'm getting a little bit more stutter and stuff like that if I load it up with a bunch of mods. Oxygen David, Shamrock Valley. Somebody else was talking about that last uh, on Wednesday when I did a live stream. I haven't checked that one out yet either. Phil says the river near his house might uh, get up to 30 foot over the banks. Oh my god. And, you know, people are kind of strange, too. They'll say, oh, I'm, I'll be okay. I know how to swim. That has nothing to do with it. They say that here on the ocean where I'm at. I can swim. You know, a storm doesn't bother me. What you don't realize is all the crap in the water that the storm stirs up. Well, we have a storm, and we have huge, huge giant logs that get swept into the, into the mix. You get slammed into one of those things at 30 miles an hour and see how good it makes you feel. It doesn't have anything to do with how good you can swim. Plus, you don't generally swim with all your damn clothes on. And who's going to be naked waiting for the storm, you know what I mean? But people are silly. We'll, we'll have a tsunami warning where I live. They'll give out a tsunami warning. We have people from the big city driving to the coast, bumper to bumper, to see the tsunami. They want to go right down on the beach and see it. Are you nuts? And to answer that, yes, they are. Okay, Alan, it was you. And it's and it's coming on, uh, uh, came out on Wednesday, you say. Are they working on it for the console?
I love this thing. I love this thing. That's what I call it. It's called the grasshopper, but I just call it thing. I live stream scheduled. My, my schedule for live streaming is uh, Sunday at 1 o'clock West Coast time and Wednesday at 1 o'clock West Coast time. I live stream a little bit early in the day because a good share of the people that watch my live streams are from Europe and it gives them a chance to see it before they have to go to bed. Uh, so I live stream a little bit early. Um, Today's a special one because of this map. I wanted to show this map off. If I feel like live streaming any other time I do, I don't schedule it because I don't like making a schedule that I know that I'm not sure I can keep. Um, I, I have a lot of stuff going on. I do a lot of uh, recording and I'm busy and I have family and all that kind of stuff. And it just bugs me uh, to schedule a live stream and find out that I can't do it for whatever reason, I feel bad because I said I would do do a live stream at a certain time on a certain day. So I only schedule two, the Sunday and Wednesday. And that gives me enough time in between live streams that I can get all the other work done that I need to do. Um, but that doesn't mean that I won't live stream you know, sometime. Oh, shoot, that wasn't done. So just like today, uh, I had something I wanted to live stream and I just jumped on and did it. So hopefully, if you're on my YouTube or or twi um, what is it, Twitter or Facebook, I have all of those when I go on it that, that there's a notification. So if you're on my YouTube page, you can get a notification when I go live. They do that, Joe. They do. Uh, over here, when we have bad winter storms, the state patrol, people will call the state patrol because the, the it's the state police. That's what we call the state police. We call it state patrol. They'll call the state patrol office because they've got officers out on the highways and to find out what the winter weather's like on the mountain passes. And I swear to God, if there's two little bitty pieces of snowfall that comes down, They'll say, oh, it's snowing to beat the band, there's a foot on the ground, chains are required, and you get up there and there's nothing like that. They do that. I don't know why. Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, all of those things. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. People will keep telling me about Mercury Farms. Um, I play Alien Gym maps. I like them. They're good maps. So I'm waiting for that, but I wish he'd put it out for the PC and to heck with the waiting for the Xbox. I say that because of Alan, because he plays on the Xbox. Just teasing Alan, you know that. So anyway, it's ready to come out. He just won't put it out until it's ready for all platforms, I guess. Whoa, whoa. Alrighty, everybody. I'm going to call it a live stream here. I hope you all had fun. If you did, join me again. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Watch some more of my other videos if you, if you like them. And I want to thank everybody for joining me this afternoon, this evening. And I'll see you on the next live stream. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Have a good evening.